With today's reveal of the Witch Queen, they also revealed Season 15, or Season of the Lost, and along with that, what I'm personally calling Season 15.5, or the 30-year anniversary, which I'm not going to talk about the 30-year anniversary event uh, in this video today. I will do a video tomorrow going more in-depth on that. I'm just going to kind of graze over it a bit here. But we're mostly talking about Season 15, Season of Lost, and what we can expect from it. So strap in, and let's get to it. With Season of the Lost, we come in contact with Mara Sava again. And she's teaming up with Osiris, or possibly it's Savathun as Osiris, and I'll get into that more later. But Mara Sava's coming back to the Dreaming City to protect her people and the solar system from Savathun. This is going to be our first uh, interaction directly with Savathun, and we're getting a lot of cool things this season. Uh, we have a new s event uh, in the Ascendant Realm in the Dreaming City, and we have stasis legendary weapons and new exotics to talk about. Talking about weapons for a quick second, we have four legendary stasis weapons. Two of them being primaries, one a sidearm and one a hand cannon, one special weapon being a shotgun, and a heavy linear fusion rifle. Now if you don't already know, the primary and special stasis weapons will be in your kinetic slot, and other future darkness elements will be too. This was announced in the past TWAB, uh, it's just to fr uh, make sure that there's more space in the energy slot. I'm going to talk about perks here in a little bit, but I want to mention the one stasis exclusive perk. Only stasis can roll this perk, and it is called Headstone. Basically, when you kill an enemy with a precision final blow, it spawns a stasis crystal, and that's it. Stasis weapons do not do anything special other than have Headstone as an option, and not all of them do have Headstone as an option. This season's ritual weapon is the Ascendancy. It is a rocket launcher that you can have explosive light on but it's not the only one hothead which is a nightfall exclusive weapon also can roll explosive light and speaking of nightfall weapons the comedian is back it is a void shotgun and it also comes from nightfalls now also it has an adept option of course and trials gained one weapon it is a stasis linear fusion rifle and i want to talk about it specifically a little bit later but keeping with playlist weapons, each playlist activity got one new weapon. Gambit gained a scout rifle, Crucible gained an auto rifle, and Vanguard Strikes gained a sidearm. And this isn't to mention that Prophecy got a whole bunch of not new loot, but reprised loot in uh, some of the Trials of the Nine weapons coming back. So some of them have great roles and... It gives you yet another reason to grind Prophecy every week. The Iron Banner, in case you didn't already know, got a sidearm, which is stasis, and a pulse rifle, which is in the energy slot. It's either arc or solar. Four exotics, or three armor exotics, are returning from D1, and we have two exotic weapons. The seasonal exotic weapon, or from the season pass, is a linear fusion rifle in the energy slot. It's void. Um, I'm sure a lot of people that loved Arbalus are going to love having that in uh, the Crucible. <laughs> and we also have a Trace Rifle Quest Exotic. Now for your armor exotics, for Hunters, you get Radiant Dance Machines, which instead of just strafing faster while aiming down sights, now if you dodge near an enemy, you get more dodges, something like that for a short period. And then no backup plans, it's basically unchanged. If you have uh, Defensive Strike, which is Top Tree Void Melee, and you shotgun someone, it consumes the energy and procs the perk, and Shotgun Final Blows recharge melee, and then Warlocks got nothing Manacles, which basically add tracking to Scatter Grenades, which Chaos Accelerant already does that, so it's kind of a null point. Uh, I'm not really going to be searching for those. I'm just going to get them for the collection. Now, I'm going to talk somewhat about mechanics and gameplay. So, Scorn are making a big appearance. Same with the Taken and the Hive. To a lesser extent on Hive. But, 
uh, Scorn champions are now a thing, and Scorn have access to stasis. Yeah, the guys that had the chains with the fire that hit you, melee, you know, those guys, now they can freeze you, which is great. Also, they have Overload Unstoppable Champions, which, take it or leave it, uh, I'm fine with it. And, going back to stasis for a quick second, there is no fragments, no aspects this season. But even though we do not have any aspects or fragments this season, we do have new armor mods and stasis armor flavor. Um, it kind of sucks to switch between the three light elements on armor, but now we have stasis too, but the perks on it are pretty good, so... And of course we have new weapon perks too, I'm not going to get into all of those right now. Some of them are really good looking, so... Uh, I'll talk about that more in my video Friday, which should be the top 10 weapons I'm personally looking for. So yeah, um, more on that later. But yeah, stasis armor and stasis armor perks are now a thing in the game. And I just want to talk about that uh, linear fusion rifle again from Trials. That is stasis. It does kind of have a spoiler in it if you haven't started the season yet, but after you've done the first mission, it's not a spoiler anymore. But if you haven't done it yet, just click off right now. The description on it is a spoiler. So if you look at LightGG, it says, Trust me, Savathun as Osiris. So it confirms that Savathun was taking over the body of Osiris. So, I mean, if you didn't already know that, now you do. Now, that isn't everything for Season 15. Don't get me wrong. The December 7th starts the 30-year uh, anniversary for Bungie. It's a big event, and I'm basically calling it a season 15.5 because it does add a lot of content, and it by itself is $25. So if you're interested in it, uh, you can look at it. Um, but uh, I'm going to make a video on that in depth by itself. Uh, Yallerhorn's returning, I'm not going to, there's a new dungeon, but tomorrow there will be a video on that, kind of glazing over it uh, a little more in detail than I am here, but that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, season looks pretty good, really long, like 181 days, I believe. Uh, back to the Dreaming City, back to the Awoken, the Crow and Mara meet. It's a lot of cool stuff, and I'm excited to get going. So if you like this video, like it, subscribe, comment, all that. Uh, I have a Twitter and a Twitch and a Discord. I'm going to have all that in a comment down below if you'd be so kind as to go join all those things. But yeah, that's about it for this video. See you next time.